Hey, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your own DIY light box. This box is great for beginner food photographers because it's really affordable and it's a great option for some artificial light. The fabric on the front acts as a diffuser so you can get some soft light on your food, making it look like natural lighting. Best of all, this is like under $20 to make, so it's really affordable when you're getting started. Now let's get in the tutorial and I will show you exactly how to make this. These are the supplies you will need to make a light box. I have two pieces of poster size foam board. I have a cutting mat, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, some binder clips, packing tape. I have a hanging light cord, so this will fit a standard light bulb. But what I have here is called a socket splitter. This allows me to put two light bulbs into this one device. The light bulbs plugged into here are gonna be daylight light bulbs, and this is extremely important for artificial lighting and food photography. The last thing we have is a piece of white fabric. This is just a extra large shirt that I bought from a craft store and I cut it into a square. The first thing you wanna do is take one piece of poster board and cut it in half. This is a 20 inch by 30 inch poster board, so I am going to mark it 15 inches down and cut it directly in half. And you don't need to have a large ruler like this. You can use a regular ruler and just use the other piece of poster board to make your straight line. In case you're wondering, I do have my cutting board underneath this, so I am not cutting directly onto my table. Now that we have our two pieces cut in half, we can set these aside and make the cut for our center piece of this light box. I set our cut ones aside and this is the second piece of foam board. We're not gonna be using this whole sheet, but what we're gonna be doing is measuring uh, 11 inches down here and we're gonna make a cut and this is gonna be our center piece for the light box. This is the piece we just cut out and the last step we're gonna do is cut a circle in the center of this piece. So I like to trace a circle using the hanging light cord so we have the exact size. And you can eyeball this, but this looks directly center to me. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and mark a circle. Then I'm gonna carefully cut that out using my X-Acto knife. So now that we finished cutting out our circle, we're gonna grab the other pieces and using our packing tape, tape them together so it's like a trifold. So now all the work is done. This folds up nicely. All you need to do is assemble all of the pieces together. 